Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? In today's video, I'll talk about the second book of the Bridgerton series, The Viscount Who Loved Me. I wasn't sure if I should record this video, but I took the opportunity to read something that's, that I'm not particularly fond of. This way I can be less judgy. And I don't think I'm judgy. I don't know why I said that. But it's always good to improve. Anyways, if you haven't watched my last video about the Bridgerton series, go watch it now. It will give you some context. I need to say, the Viscount who loved me is surprisingly... I'm sorry, I had the urge to vomit. It's surprisingly good. What the hell? Yes, I would say it again slowly. The Viscount who loved me is not bad. I know, I know. I'm surprised as well. I had a lot of fun reading it. This book starts two years after the events of the Duke and I and follows the story of Anthony Bridgerton the oldest son of the Bridgerton family. And I don't know if you know this, because maybe you haven't watched it, and I don't think I said this in my last video, but the Bridgertons are named in alphabetical order. This means, I think, the next one is about Benedict. Continuing, Anthony is actually my best boy. Yes, he's my favorite character. But I might be biased because I believe in all the sibling supremacy. Yes, actually, all the siblings are way better, okay? They are a different breed. No, wait, wait, I have a counter argument. Seven Salvatore. Yeah, I take that back. The plot also focuses on Kate Sheffield. And she's our local generic girl. Yay! Yeah, she has no discernible personality, so she could be Daphne 2.0 for all I know. Okay, but don't get me wrong, I don't hate her. She's just bland, and Anthony is also bland. All of them are bland, okay? But they are bland in a kind of nice way? I don't know. Yeah, in a high school setting, she would be the average loner girl, and he would be the playboy and player. So, a bit overused. Creativity, 2 out of 10. Congratulations. Okay, but what motivates the events of this book? is that Anthony's dad died early and he was deeply affected by this. This made him believe that he would die even earlier than him. So this is a new way to use trauma, I mean not new, but I haven't seen a lot of this. So I'm glad the author talked about it. Okay, so because of this, he thinks it's time to marry, because he's gonna die soon, so he wants to marry Edwina Sheffield. Kate's sister, and Kate doesn't want this because of his reputation, but at the same time she's kind of tissondary because she only talks about him it's all the same time. Oh, I hate him, he's awful. Yeah, Edwina said that the best way to win her heart is through her sister. So what did Anthony do? Talk to Kate. And you would expect him to be on his best behavior, and he was not. He was really petty and mean. And why did he want to show his true self to her? I mean, he goes straight up lied and pretend to be a nice guy. And oh, I may sound skeptical, but he's a Viscount. Isn't this what this noblemen do anyways? I kinda hardcore ship them. They work cute together, okay? Don't judge me. Okay, and the scene in the office with the Italian singer. It's basically Anthony went to his office with a hookup and Kate wanted to be alone. So she went to his office earlier. She didn't know it was his office, of course. And she saw them coming in. So she hid under a table because she was terrified. She thought he would straight up murder her. The funniest part of this is that he was truly thinking of her but not like that. It was about how hot she was and unsufferable. But she was still hot, okay? Yeah, that's the important part, okay? And when she's discovered, she appears like this. Hey! Hey! How y'all doing? 
hilarious, okay? And so uncomfortable. And they fight, and then they make out. I felt really happy. <laughs> That's so cringy, but it's true. I won't give more spoilers, but I would like to say, tears to the author to not write the conflicts. They were resolved as soon as possible. And this was nice. I think that's all, so thank you for watching folks, and that's it. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any book requests, write them down in the comments. Bye!